mind spending still intentional? Wrap the TV stand. We definitely are not ready. Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to moving vlog number one. Today is Saturday, October 7th. We move next Saturday, October 14th. So we have exactly one week to declutter and pack everything up in our apartment. We have not packed anything. So since it's Saturday, I just finished filming my October budget with me like probably five minutes ago. I thought it'd be a good time to start actually packing since we are moving, like I said, in one week. So I thought I'd start the vlog and take you guys along with me over the next few days of just getting packed and prepped and ready to move in exactly one week. So I hope you guys enjoy the moving vlogs. I'm excited. I've never done a moving series on my channel. So this is the first time actually taking you guys through the packing process, an empty apartment tour, setting up a new apartment. And I'm just excited and ready for it and ready for a you know new space and fresh start. And I want to declutter a lot of the stuff that we have here. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Welcome to the moving series, episode number one. I just changed into a t-shirt and grabbed an Alani new. I actually just got this t-shirt in the mail. This is from Jenna Hong. This is her merch collection. She just drops. So I picked one up to support her small business. It's like the perfect oversized comfy tee. I also just built some Home Depot extra large boxes. So I'm gonna start packing these. I have three of them up here. And I think we're gonna start off in the office just because this is the room that I feel like we use the least. We obviously use our computers a lot, but in terms of like decor and storage and everything, I feel like majority of the stuff can be packed up because we're not gonna use it until at least next weekend. So we're gonna start off in here. I'll give you guys an overview of what the office looks like. So this is my setup here. This is Devin's setup. Besides our computers, I feel like we can pack a majority of this stuff up here. We also have our bookshelf over here with books, our printer, and just some like little decor. So like I said, I feel like a majority of this can be packed up. I need to go through and declutter both of these. This is our business filing cabinet, and this is actually where I keep all of my makeup. I would like to declutter and minimize my makeup so that way it can actually fit under a bathroom sink. I also need to patch a lot of the holes in the wall. I'm actually, I'm kind of nervous. A lot of this stuff, especially in the office, I hung myself because I did like an office makeover as a YouTube video a year and a half ago. And I am notoriously known for needing to hang something like five or six times before I actually get it straight. No matter how much I measure, it's just, I just, I just struggle with hanging things straight. And a lot of this stuff is pretty heavy. So it requires like the screw and the hook in the wall. It's not just like a teeny nail that it's hanging on. And I would like to get as much of our deposit back as possible. So not only do I want to like get this done early so that way we can pack it, but I also want to have time to patch and paint the holes in the wall. I'll show you guys when I take down some of this stuff, but yeah, it's, it's not good. I gave this uh, clay sculpture that I made when I was younger to Devin for his office and he doesn't want it. It's supposed to be a cow with udders and it has like little T-Rex arms, but it's a crazy looking thing. yeah, it is. My mom's kept it all these years.
happy Monday. It is 1.44 in the afternoon on Monday and I'm about to start continuing the packing process. I actually did not film at all or pack at all yesterday because I needed to edit and upload my October budget with me. So got that done and now we are going to continue packing. I did order quite a few things on Amazon that I will show you guys. They actually came in the mail. I'm just ready to get rid of a lot of this stuff and just kind of like reorganize everything, just kind of condense down, especially when it comes to my hair products, my makeup. I just don't use nearly as much stuff as I used to. And so I'm just kind of taking advantage of using this time to kind of declutter and get rid of a lot of that stuff. So I'll show you guys the current status of the office. I feel like we pretty much have everything packed up in here that we don't use on a daily basis. Devin and I are both like trying to not get overwhelmed just because like during the whole moving process it's just very easy to get overwhelmed when everything is everywhere so it's a little messy. Okay so here's what the office is looking like. Like I said it's definitely messy but I feel like we're making pretty good progress in here. As far as my work from home setup goes I did pack and declutter everything that was in here. I also had pretty much all of this was full of my makeup. I did pack up all of my makeup except everything that you use just on a daily basis. I just have in here. I just have like my camera batteries and light and everything in there. So this is decluttered and packed and we will be getting rid of this. I think we are going to keep this maybe for my office if it will fit. I don't know if we'll really need it because I'm actually gonna get a bookcase. And then we have, like I said, just like some random stuff around here. Those are going to the trash. The last few things that we need to do in here are take down this calendar, which we have not used in like a year and a half. It's just pretty much just for show. And then this plant is actually bolted into the ceiling. So that will be fun. And then today, I think I'm actually going to start on this hall closet just because besides our towels and that thing scares me all the time when i open this up especially at night i need to like flip it around because that's creepy so yeah that's kind of where i'm at right now like i said the main things for today i think is i want to do that linen closet and then our master bathroom i feel like that's pretty good i just feel like everything that we have we use and so i'm so hesitant to start like really packing everything up. Our clothes will be pretty easy. A lot of you guys told me just to leave them on the hangers and like leave them folded. I feel like the upstairs will be pretty close to being done once we do those two things today. And then we can kind of tackle the downstairs once we actually get closer to moving day since that is the area that we definitely use the most. I'm also actually using Home Depot boxes, which are pretty pricey, but we can use them for our business. That's actually what we use to send our inventory into Amazon. So once we're done with the move, we can actually, reuse our moving boxes for inventory which is really nice otherwise we definitely would not be using brand new boxes because that's a cost of moving that not a lot of people consider and packing and moving supplies add up so quickly so we are using brand new home depot boxes but that's only because we'll have a second use for them after but happy monday i have my second coffee of the day and we are ready to continue this packing process Everything's off the floor. Upstairs linen closet is done. I just left a few things out that we might need this week. We actually have to leave our apartment to move in ready, which is crazy to me. So I just left a few like cleaning supplies out and stuff and a pair of contacts a piece. I'm happy we got this closet done. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I picked up for storage and organization. All of this stuff is either from Amazon or Target. I don't really have too many things in this apartment in terms of organization or organizers. 
everything's just kind of like neatly placed in a cabinet or a closet but i actually want organizers to start organizing everything how many times can i say organizing the first thing that i got is this set from amazon it is an acrylic set for my makeup so I, I think I said this earlier, but I used to have all of my makeup and two Alex Shores. After COVID, I've been slowly wearing less and less makeup and I've kind of downsized to half of an Alex Shore. But in this new place, I really wanna keep all of my makeup in the bathroom. So I got these organizers from Amazon to store all of my makeup in. So it actually, they have a bunch of different pieces that you can order so that way you can kind of customize the sizing. But I got four of these drawers, which I really hope is gonna be enough storage if not though like i said it's really nice because you can order them in packs of two so i can always order two or four more if i need to but these are what the drawers look like and i mean they seem pretty decent quality they had really good reviews for the price and then i got this top organizer that sits on top of it and just kind of snaps in on top and this is where I'm going to keep all of my foundations right in here. I think I'm gonna put my um, lip products or eyeliners or even, I don't really have much of either. So maybe just all of that right here. And then probably my eyeshadow palettes right there. Everything that I show you that I picked up, I will link down below for you guys in case you want to shop it. But these actually seem pretty good quality. They were pretty affordable. I wanna say for the four drawers and this top set, it was a little over $30, I think, which in comparison to the other products on Amazon or just any other site was actually not that bad. The next thing that I got also from Amazon is this kitchen organizer. It's wobble free, heavy duty. It's good for organizing your pots, lids, cutting boards, mats, pretty much everything that you need to organize in your kitchen cabinets, this is good for. Right now, we just kind of stack everything on top of of each other so i think this would be really good to keep it nice and organized i want to say this was like 17 or 18 dollars our kitchen utensil holders and drawer organizers are pretty old i actually think our drawer organizers that keeps like our um our spatulas and stuff is from our first apartment so it's definitely time to upgrade those i got these organizers so i ordered a few more they only had one in store so i ordered three more online it can sit in our utensil drawer for like i said our bigger utensils like spatulas, spoons, knives, all that stuff. I got these and then I also picked up the matching utensil organizer. So I grabbed this too. This is the bamboo, a seven compartment drawer organizer. So what I really like about this one is it actually expands to fit your drawer. Obviously because we aren't moved in, I have no idea how small or wide our drawers are gonna be. So I decided to get an expandable one so that way, no matter the size, it fits perfectly in there. This one was actually pretty affordable. Everything that I got in Target, I looked up on Amazon or other sites before I got it just because obviously I wanted to get the best price. This was actually $20, I wanna say, and they were, I think, 30 on Amazon and then other places they were even more expensive than that. And the Brightroom collection at Target is actually really affordable especially for the quality i think it's all pretty good quality stuff i also got these sponge dish cloths they're basically like reusable paper towels when you wet them they kind of feel like a paper towel but they're actually machine washable so i got two of them they were six dollars for the pack and then i also got some new measuring cups from figment i think it's target's new kitchen brand and everything is so minimal and aesthetic so i got these gold measuring cups because our now are pretty old they're actually kind of stained they are these like white plastic ones which we'll probably keep because we do use them quite a bit but we decided to upgrade to these really pretty gold ones also from target i got this spinning turntable for under our master bathroom sink i thought this was a perfect way to keep like our body moisturizers um mouthwash toner like all of the bigger stuff that sits under the sink rather than it just being loose down there i thought that this was the perfect organizer to organize all of that and it spins so we can just put this right in the middle and spin it to get what we need. This one is also, once again, from Bright Room. This was actually a little bit more expensive. This was $20. So that's pretty much what I have so far. I have a little bit more on the way. So far, I'm pretty happy with my purchases. I've been trying to keep my spending still intentional, like not get things that we don't really need, just stuff, like I've been saying, that's actually, you know, for utility and organization and that will make our place just feel cleaner and more 
put together and not really impulsive purchases, which I can definitely do, especially when it comes to moving because I get so excited for a new place that I just wanna like redecorate everything. But before we actually start with like the new decor and stuff, I wanna make sure that we at least get everything that we actually need. It is now Thursday, which means it is two days until we actually move. We definitely are not ready. We are making pretty good progress though. This morning, Devin and I worked a lot down here in the kitchen. We also have a lot of boxes over here ready. This is the current state of our apartment. It's pretty messy, but I feel like we're actually starting to make some progress. We're actually getting a wholesale shipment picked up right now too, which we were nervous about that, that they wouldn't make it in time, but this is how everything's looking. We're starting to move everything down here and putting it by the front door. And once those pallets are picked up, we're gonna start moving boxes out in the garage because we are paying for movers. We do pay them hourly. And so the more that we can get packed and wrapped up and just put in the garage, that way when they get here, they can just load it up really quickly. Obviously the more money that we're gonna save. So once that's picked up, we'll move everything out into the garage. So that way it's just all in one place nice and packed up and they can pick it up on Saturday but right now we're actually about to leave for Maya's vet appointment because she needs all of her updated shots and everything and her annual exam before we move in there so we can have all the paperwork so we're gonna go take her to the vet and then probably run to Home Depot get some boxes and then take a package to USPS and then just come back and keep on moving but for now that's the plan you want to go buy in the car you don't want to go to the vet, but I know you want to go bye-bye. Oh. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me in the city i was raised on its edges my pop work is life when it's compounds i found love in its center if i can live here forever think it'd be for the better i love the weather even though it's fog 24 7 i love the people this is city i met all my best friends and i want to thank every brick i want to thank every entrance to every building that i step in in this city of mine oh you most my best moments we are finally back home. We just took all the boxes that we have packed so far, put them in the garage. My goal for the rest of the night, since it's already six o'clock, 6.09, is to finish the kitchen and Devin is working on the TV and the TV mount. Hopefully we can just get all of this off the counters. I think that will make it feel so much better in here just to get all of like this clutter away but and we are going to patch the wall and get the tv mount off all right what's up youtube i'm looking crazy kaylin told me to hop on the vlog so Obviously that's what I'm doing, but I just got done cleaning off our TV stand. We need a new one, but just got done cleaning that off and I'm about to saran wrap it so that the drawers don't actually come out when the movers move it. And that way we can just keep everything in it. Yeah, so you're about to watch me do that. We have the saran wrap, about to wrap the TV stand. Again, I'm looking crazy, but here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and Leave it in our left Sunshine and birds chirping Let me take a breath I'm headed to the city Where my chance to make it best What people like to give a little Then you take the rest I'm hoping one day Maybe I can find a place to rest I fell in love with life And wonder where it take me next Alright, so as you can see It is done And now we're about to move it out Into the garage And What's next? After that the Kitchen and then we're gonna finish the kitchen. Why don't we pick it up so that it scraps the floor? Okay. 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 Hometown, baby, we go way back All the situations, circumstances Still we don't mind steady going on I dance around the street lights Hey Let's go 
Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is officially move out and move in day. My Devin and I have been up all morning uh, packing everything up, getting it ready for the movers. We spent all of yesterday just getting everything ready. So we're pretty much done and ready to go. The movers should be here in a few hours. But I wanted to close out this vlog here because I'm actually starting a move in or like a, a moving day vlog today. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching moving vlog episode one of just packing up this apartment. It's definitely better sweet we're ready for new beginnings but we're also thankful to have this place as our home and this is actually where we started all of our businesses in this office so it's it's bittersweet we're gonna miss it but we're ready for a new chapter a fresh space and new beginnings so I appreciate you guys following along the moving journey and make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned for all of those videos but once again thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in our moving blog.